in John chapter 8. John tells us that many people believed in Jesus, believed in the word he had spoken about himself, that he was the Son of God, the Messiah, the light of the world. And Jesus says, if you abide or rest, continue, if you live in that belief, then you are truly my disciples. So the question is, does abiding in Jesus' word prove a disciple or does it produce a disciple? How long do you have to abide before you become a disciple? Well, that's not how this works. Abiding in the belief of Jesus is the proof that you are a disciple, but abiding does not produce a disciple. Notice that the text says, if you abide in my word, then you are truly my disciples. It doesn't say, if you abide in my word, you will become my disciples. Why is this important to realize? Because the gift of salvation from God is not something you earn or achieve. Salvation is the grace-filled work of God in a person's life. You don't earn it. You don't achieve it. You don't receive it uh, because of the good things that you've done. You receive it in repentance and faith. The evidence that a person has been born again, experienced the new birth, is that they abide. They keep the belief and faith in Jesus as the Messiah, evidenced by His Lordship in their life. It is the ongoing work of the grace of God. When you pray today, please remember Marco Gaspar and his family are changemaker missionaries in Portugal. And also remember the Nia Turu Life Word broadcast that's heard in Tanzania.